Welcome back. We'll be joined by Chelsea Winter in the Mastercraft Kitchen soon. First though, now we want our kids to have a voice and speak up, but we also want them to be respectful and polite. Today in Coffee Group we're discussing how to encourage our children to be assertive rather than bossy or rude. From the Parenting Place, welcome back John Cowan and welcome to the show. Mum of two, media personality, Wendy Meyer, lovely to see both of you. Good morning. Hi, now Wendy, I know you've got two girls, mm -hmm. so how difficult has it been for you to teach them assertiveness? It's a tricky one because I think their level of assertiveness depends on their level of confidence in themselves and the situation that they're in. So it's a real growth thing. And as they get older, mine are quite old now, it's, it has been quite a difficult thing to foster within the two of them. Mm. But when we talk about assertiveness, what do we mean? Because we don't want them to be rude or impolite, right? No, we all like the idea of them being assertive with their friends and not being bossed around, but we don't like them being assertive to us because it takes a long while for kids to get good at it being assertive. For a while it comes across as rudeness, like toddlers. We just hate, no, it's so unpleasant. <laughs> but it's that no which is going to keep them safe when they're out on a date when they're 16 or 17. So it is good for them to know what they've got authority over. It's the manners that they wrap around it so that they don't offend you or hurt you in the process. It is tricky. Mm. What about, well, for both of you, um, what's the difference between pushy and assertive? Because, you know, as girls, we can get told we should be seen but not heard. Mm. And I, I think a little difficult for girls if they're assertive, they may be pushy mm. or aggressive, depending on the situation that they are in. Mm. So that's hard too. Yeah, it is a, a real skill. Yeah. And uh, as long as we expect our kids to know that they have authority over themselves and can make choices, then that's good. And then it's just a learning process of learning how to do that in a good way. Unfortunately, girls especially sometimes get sucked into this idea of having to please people, mm. a yes. pleasing culture amongst girls. And I think we need to reinforce the idea that they have a dignity and an authority in themselves. OK, what about um, you know when our kids are very confident, perhaps overconfident, how do we deal with that? That's tricky. I've got one who is probably almost a little <laughs> overconfident. Uh, but she looks after herself and, yeah. and can it can sort herself to the situation that she's in without being the, you know that sort of business. Mm. Mm. Because I've I've let my boys be very yeah. very loud and assertive, and now they're five and six. I'm trying to think well, where's the balance? When do I step in? Yeah, I think the mm. the thing that will push them back into the right place, the right zone, is your own sense of dignity, and just draw yourself up in your own sense of who you are. Stand on your internal pedestal and think, you know, nobody who gave me stretch marks is going to talk to me like that. <laughs> and uh, and just let them know, hey, back off a little bit and try that again in a nicer voice. So there are steps to being polite, are there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And one of them is to model it to them yourself, especially, say, making a request and not using a tone of voice which is aggressive or harsh. And yeah. body language? Yeah, if something is serious, you should have a, a serious tone and a serious look on your face and uh, state, the, state the problem, you know, hey, the, the coat's on the floor and it's dripping water on my floor, and then state the action, I'd like you to pick it up and put it away, and then state how it's going to make you feel. I'd feel a lot safer and grateful if you did that. Mm. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for joining us. I'd love to have him over at my house. Cause Same. Yeah, it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Thank you so much, Wendy.